हेलो एवरीवन टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कैपेसिटर्स अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मेनी डेरिवेशंस दैट इज कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ ए पैरेलल प्लेट कैपेसिटर वी हैव आल्सो डिराइव्ड द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ ए पैरेलल प्लेट कैपेसिटर विथ ए डाइएलेक्ट्रिक स्लैब इन बिटवीन द प्लेट्स वी हैव आल्सो डिराइव्ड एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with conducting slab in between the plates today 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 let us discuss about combination of capacitors now we can connect capacitors in two ways we can connect the capacitors in series combination and we can also connect them in parallel combination series combination means one end of the capacitor is connected to another end like this now we say three of them are connected in series that is right plate of c1 is connected to the left plate of c1 right plate of c2 is connected to the left plate of c3 like that therefore this is called as a series combination parallel combination means all left plates are connected together and given to one terminal and all right plates are connected together and given to another terminal so that is called as a parallel combination so in parallel combination we take three capacitances or four capacitances or it can be two capacitances also connect all left ends together and give you can give a common potential and connect all uh, right together and you can give to a common potential like this this combination is called as parallel combination so we have two types of combinations series and parallel combination first let us take capacitors in series here we have taken two capacitances one is c1 another is c2 c1 and c2 so now you can see here in this figure left plate of c1 and the right plate of c2 are connected to two terminals of a battery that means which i have not shown here left plate of c1 right plate of c2 are connected to two terminals of a battery like that so you can uh, imagine that is left plate of c1 and right plate of c2 are connected to two terminals of a battery like this now you can see right plate of c1 of charge is of charge minus q left plate is of charge plus q right plate of c1 is of minus q now left plate of c2 is of plus q right plate of c2 is of minus q minus q now right plate of c1 which has negative charge is connected to left plate of c2 which has positive charge which has positive charge right plate of c1 of charge minus q is connected to left plate of c2 of charge plus q now if you take this figure and uh, let us derive the expression for the resultant capacitance the results in electric this results in electric field in the conductor connecting c1 and c2 so when you connect like them they it results in the electric field in the conductor connecting c1 and c2 charge would flow until the net charge on both the c1 and c2 is zero and there is no electric field in the conductor connecting c1 and c2 so this will happen after connecting like them so finally what happens is charge would flow until the net charge on both the c1 and c2 is zero and there is no electric field in the conductor connecting c1 and c2 
Thus, in series combination, charges on the two plates plus or minus Q are the same on each capacitor. That means, if first capacitor has plus Q, second capacitor also has one plate with plus Q. If one plate of first capacitor has minus Q, the second plate, second capacitor's second plate also will be having minus Q. That means Q is same for all the capacitors in series. This cannot be Q1, this cannot be Q2, this cannot be Q1 and Q2. That cannot be done. All capacitors will have the same charge Q. Same charge Q for all of them. Now, coming to that next thing is, the total potential drop V across the combination, it is the sum of the potential drops V1 and V2 across C1 and C2 respectively. So that means if you take, if you take, connect it to a battery like this, this we can assume this is V. Then the potential drop across the first capacitor is V1. And the potential drop across the second capacitor, it is V2. Now, V is equal to V1 plus V2. V is equal to V1 plus V2. That is what we are saying here. The total potential drop V across the combination is the sum of the potential drops V1 and V2 across the C1 and C2. V is equal to V1 and V2. V is equal to V1 and V2. But we all know the fundamental equation of the capacitance. Q is equal to Cv. Therefore, V is equal to Q by C. V is equal to Q by C. From this equation, V is equal to Q by C. Therefore, V1 is equal to Q by C1. V2 is equal to Q by C2. First capacitor has a charge C1. Second capacitor has a charge C2. Sorry, sorry. First capacitor has a capacitance C1. Sorry, once again. First capacitor has a capacitance C1. Second capacitor has a capacitance C2. But charge Q is same for both of them. Q is same for both of them but first capacitor has a capacitance c1 second capacitor has a capacitance c2 now substituting these two values substituting these two values that is v1 and v2 in this first equation we will get q by c is equal to q by c1 plus q by c2 Q by C is equal to Q by C1 plus Q by C2. Therefore, Q by C is equal to take out Q common in both of them. Then it will become 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. Both the sides Q and Q is cancelled. Both the sides Q and Q is cancelled. Therefore, finally you will get Q and Q cancel both the sides. Therefore, finally we will get 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. This is the derivation for the combination of two capacitances in series. Two capacitances in series. That is capacitance of a resultant capacitor. When capa two capacitors are connected in series, 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. Now, suppose if we have n capacitors in series, now we consider the combination as an effective capacitor. Now, if we consider uh, uh, for the two capacitors, first I am talking, now we consider the combination as an effective capacitor with charge Q and potential difference V. The, eff the effective capacitance of the combination C is equal to Q by V and suppose if we take N capacitors in series and applying 
the same principle we will get now we will get 1 by c is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 etc etc 1 by cn that is for the n capacitances in series so if two are there we got the formula 1 by c is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 now here we have considered the combination as an effective capacitor with charge q and potential difference v then we got effective capacitance 1 by c is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 if there are n capacitors connected in series then we can extend the same formula 1 by c is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 plus etc etc 1 by cn this is the derivation for effective capacitance when n capacitors are connected in series now now let's go for our next discussion that is capacitors in parallel so you can clearly see here two capacitors c1 and c2 are connected in parallel that is left plate of c1 and left plate of c2 are connected together and given to a potential similarly right plate of c1 and right plate of c2 are connected to a common potential v like this two left plates are connected together and two right plates are connected together and given to a common potential so that is called as a parallel combination in this combination c1 and c2 are connected in parallel and the same potential difference is applied across the capacitors in series combination previously when we have seen when we have seen in series combination q was same for each one of them that is series combination but when they are uh, parallel potential drop is the same for them so in parallel combination potential is the same but in series combination charge is same that point you have to remember please don't forget that point in series combination q is same for all the capacitors in parallel combination potential drop v is same is the same for all the capacitances v is same for all the capacitances now but charge is not same now first capacitor has a charge plus or minus q1 that means left plate has plus q1 right plate has minus q1 second capacitor has plus or minus q2 that is left plate of c2 has left plate of c2 has left plate of c2 has positive charge here and right plate has negative charge so this is our figure let me draw it again let me draw it again um, now right left plate of q1 has positive charge here right plate of c1 has negative charge here similarly left plate of c2 has all positive charge and right plate of c2 has negative charge like this so clearly you can see here left plate left plate of c1 has positive charge right plate of c1 has negative charge with plus or minus q1 that is q1 right similarly coming to c2 left plate of c2 left plate of c2 has positive charge that is plus q2 and right plate has negative charge that is minus q2 now taking into consideration the fundamental formula q is equal to cv q1 is equal to c1v q2 
q2 is equal to c2v where v is the same for both of them where v is same for both of them now coming to the point coming to the point the equivalent capacitor is one with the charge q is equal to q1 plus q2 now if you consider it as an equivalent capacitance where the equivalent capacitance will have a charge q is equal to q1 plus q2 q is equal to q1 plus q2 q is equal to q1 plus q2 then because the potential is common to both of them we have the equation q is equal to cv here q is equal to cv then q is equal to q1 plus q2 that is from this equation number 2 equation number 2 that is equation number 2 q is equal to q1 plus q2 therefore substitute the values uh, from equation 1 2 and 3 that is if you go back to the previous one this is equation 1 where q1 is equal to c1v and q2 is equal to c2v q1 is equal to c1v q2 is equal to c2v and substitute these two values in this equation q is equal to q1 plus q2 then q is equal to cv q1 is equal to c1v q2 is equal to c2v substitute them now after substitution after substitution we get cv is equal to c1v plus c2v q is equal to cv q1 is equal to c1v q2 is equal to c2v substitute you will get cv is equal to c1v plus c2v then cv is equal to c1v plus c2v in this v is common therefore c1 plus c2 take it out both the sides v you can cancel out then you will get c is equal to c1 plus c2 this is the derivation for the parallel combination this is the derivation for the parallel combination now you can uh, imagine the effective capacitance c is equal to c1 plus c2 if there are n capacitors in parallel then we can extend this formula q is equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 etc etc qn just a minute yes uh, now if you consider n capacitors if you consider n capacitors in parallel we get q is equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 etc qn qn therefore q is equal to cv then q1 is equal to c1v q2 is equal to c2v q3 is equal to c3v etc etc qn is equal to cnv cnv therefore in all these things you can take v as the common out then both the sides v and v cancel you will get c is equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 etc etc cn so this is what we get for the resultant of capacitors in parallel if n capacitors are in parallel if n capacitors are in parallel the resultant capacitance c is equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 etc etc plus cn so with this we have completed the derivations for the series combination as well as for the parallel combination so we have completed the derivations for the resultant capacitance for a series combination as well as for a parallel combination thank you for watching this video let us meet again in the next video with another topic till then bye Take good care of yourselves. God bless you all.